My colleague, Congressman Hank Johnson, had this to say recently. Adolf Hitler, Hitler, much like Hitler, 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 Hitler took over the Nazi party. Trump has taken over the Republican party. Okay, Mr. Johnson, President Trump is a lot of things, but he's not Hitler. He didn't kill millions of people. He didn't start a world war. He didn't have any concentration camps. And to accuse him of being Hitler is intellectually dishonest and frankly it's a huge insult to the millions of Jews who died under Nazi Germany. The Jewish people understand tyranny. Charismatic and a good public speaker, deceptive and cunning. Adolf Hitler rose to power to lead Germany in 1932. His aim was to unite the blonde-haired, blue-eyed, Germanic Aryan people against the Jews, the Italians, the Polish, Anybody else? But if you want to insult President Trump, at least you're picking on somebody your own size. At least you're picking on somebody who can fight back. But you went on to insult, degrade, and demean tens of millions of Americans who voted for him. Let's call them drug addicted, uneducated, unhappy alcoholics. Donald Trump supporters are older, less educated, less prosperous, and they are dying early. Their lifespans are decreasing, and many are dying from alcoholism, drug overdoses, liver disease, or simply a broken heart caused by economic despair. This is a cowardly form of politics. No matter how much I will disagree with you in Congress, I will never, ever insult the good Americans who voted for you. I will never paint an entire half of the country as deplorables or fools or the dregs of society. I'll never do it. And if I ever do, you better call me out on it because I can't imagine a worse form of leadership. Brothers and sisters, after six million Jews perished in the Holocaust, the Jewish people will always be diligent to make sure that history does not repeat itself. Americans, particularly black Americans, can't afford to make that same mistake about the harm that could be done by a man named Hitler or a man named Trump. These people are exercising their right and their voice the only way they can, which is through their vote. They don't have a TV show, they don't have a radio show, they don't have a weekly column or a big social media following. They have a vote. And you use your public platform to insult and demean them. This is not the behavior we expect from a member of Congress. Americans elected an authoritarian, anti-immigrant, racist, strong man to the nation's highest office. So I'll leave you with this. Pick on somebody your own size. Pick on me if you like. My office will be right down the hall from yours. I'll see you in Washington.